what you guys got another video here for you why is my 144 hertz monitor running at 60 hertz this could also be said for any 240 hertz or any other sort of refresh rate that you're trying to get set on your monitor and you can see that it's running say at 60 hertz and you want to up it to the maximum refresh rate now you can see uh, my monitors here inside my system display and advanced display settings are displaying that my 1080p 144 hertz is running okay but a lot of people say they can't change this and it's grayed out or they just can't physically change it here and this is what i want to uh, talk about in this video so we're going to be going through all of the scenarios that cause this problem and hopefully by watching this video you'll be able to rectify the issue and be able to understand why you're not getting the full refresh rate uh, that you're paying for so let's go ahead and talk about that in this video so the first common problem i see is people using an old uh, 144 hertz monitor or higher and they go and buy one on ebay and places like that and basically they have no clue of what they're doing they just see the word 144 hertz gaming monitor and they don't realize that when you get it home and you start plugging the cables in you don't get 144 hertz why is that because you may be using the wrong cable so to output 1080p at 144 hertz you're going to need the right cable you can either use a dual link a dvi cable a display port cable or hdmi 2.0 cable these are the ones i would go for and you can buy one of these now if you see here on this chart it will give you some of the outputs and some of the information that is important when using a cable you can even use these adapters if the monitor is old and you've bought it on ebay and you need to convert it so you need to make sure you are using the right cable i'll list up the information on the screen here so you can pause it and write that down if you've just grabbed a uh, you know a cable from inside your house maybe it's an old hdmi cable it might not be good enough to output what you're trying to get out of that monitor also check the graphics card some modern graphics cards don't have a dual link dvi and if your monitor has one of those dual link dvis you have to use that to get the 144 hertz if you're plugging it into the hdmi port it might not work because that might be an old hdmi port these need to support the speeds that you are trying to get so you can see on the back here we have loads of different ports but it doesn't necessarily mean these are all the latest hdmi 2.0 ports some might not even have a display port and some might only have an older type hdmi port on them and some may have a dual link dvi port on them which you have to use to get the 144 hertz you would need an adapter if your graphics card doesn't have that uh, dual link uh, dvi port on the back of it so you just have to look at all of this information you can check out the label on the back of the monitor and then go to the manufacturer's website and check the maker model number of that monitor and it will tell you what ports are on that monitor and what versions they are and this will help you understand why you're not getting 144 hertz remember your monitor is set to 60 hertz by default when you purchase it so you may need to go into the settings inside your control panel and change those physically so you get the actual 144 hertz or higher if that monitor supports it it's the same thing on your monitor there is a control panel or menu system on your monitor that you can physically change this setting to 144 hertz you may need to do that as well which you can check on your monitor also check for outdated graphics drivers or drivers that are not installed on that system you won't be able to get your full 144 hertz until these are installed correctly so go to the manufacturer's website maybe it's nvidia or maybe you've got an amd card you can download the drivers for nvidia or amd from their websites and this will then help you achieve your goal of getting higher refresh rates for the monitor so just check to make sure that that is all installed and updated another thing you need to do is make sure that your monitor is actually capable of running a higher refresh rate so many people buy a monitor and they don't realize that it only supports either 60 hertz or 75 hertz and they do look like gaming monitors but they just won't run at 144 hertz maybe you've been missold something or maybe you misread the article where you bought it from 
so check that out to make sure that it is capable of running at those speeds. I will leave all the links for some information that you can read to understand how you can achieve 144 Hz or higher if your monitor supports it and the type of cables that you're going to need to use to get those uh, speeds. So there's different connectors that you can use which do support those speeds, but you need to use the right ones and the same thing for the back of the monitor if it's the port that you're plugging it into might not be capable of outputting those speeds that you're trying to get. So you need to just make sure. Now, most modern day monitors will achieve these with modern day uh, ports on the back of them. They're not going to put old type of ports in the back of a modern day uh, monitor. But if you're using the old uh, used hardware which you've purchased, then this may be the case. It may be old um, connectors in the back that you're plugging into that don't support it. So check all that information out in the video description. I think the biggest problem is people go and use a cable that they got lying around that may be really old and it might not support those super fast speeds. That's a problem I see quite a bit. Or they go and buy a used monitor that has old technology on the back of it and they're plugging it in and it just doesn't work. Maybe the port that supports 144 hertz just doesn't work anymore and it does have a HDMI port, but that doesn't support 144 hertz. And this is another problem that you've got to be careful of. Anyway, when you're purchasing stuff like this on eBay and places like that, just be careful and make sure you read the back of the label. If they don't show you the label, check the model number and find out how old that monitor actually is and stick with some new stuff. They're not that expensive anymore and you can pick up some pretty cheap deals nowadays for 144 hertz 1080p monitors. I'll leave all the links in the video description so you can check those out for more information. If you need a bit of advice, then you can always pop on our Discord server. We're happy to help over there. And also, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Uh, just want to say a big special thanks to all the YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Your names are rolling up on the screen right now. And I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.